I'm going to share something with you. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife and saying, completely different ball game. I'll walk away from it and this has been like a therapy session. This is Cleveland Cassis for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. We're in Nottingham here. It is Gary Cully fight week. Now, you had the option of me reducing the brightness of my uh, light there, or you had the opportunity to put your, are they, what are they? Off-white, off yeah. Yeah, they're off-white. I'd just like to make it clear that the only reason I'm wearing the sunglasses is because Coog's light is very, very bright and it was getting in my eyes, so I had to throw them on. Um, they are off white, by the way, but yeah, I just had to throw them on just to get that light on my face, you know? <laughs> Do you know when um, you see a footballer wearing like a random colour boots, like pink or whatever, or bright gold, yeah. and they go, cool, you've got to be able to play football to wear a, a pair of boots like that. So I'm going to say the same thing to you. You've got to be able to fight to pull off a pair of glasses like that. Have you seen my fight kit? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I have for this week, yeah, no. No, but that's pink too. So yeah, you've got to be able, I always say that you've got to be able to fight if you wear pink. You're obviously uh, drawing a little bit more attention to you. But uh, that's what this game is about. It's about exciting people, it's about entertaining, and uh, I'm all about that, and I'm here to do that this week, so yeah. Okay, uh, let's draw into it. Before we talk about um, Flores, um, I spoke to Eddie Hearn, who spoke some good things about you. I don't know if you saw from uh, my interview with him on Tuesday uh, about your potential and kind of where you are uh, in your career, but the big things are starting to be expected of you, Gary. Yeah, for sure. A couple of people have, have mentioned, I didn't see the interview, but a couple of people have mentioned to me. Um, and it seems like Eddie's getting very, very excited. Um, but yeah, with that comes expectation as well. And uh, you've got to be putting performances in. So I felt I feel like maybe going back two, three years and, and all, when even when, when things were starting to maybe pick up a little bit, um, I was a little bit daunted by it all, but now I've I've matured a little bit more and uh, I'm starting to to enjoy it a lot more and to to settle into to to this role is what I'm calling it. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's exciting for me. There's there's big expectation of me, but I know what I'm capable of as well. So uh, it's exciting and um, I'm looking forward to putting another show-stopping performance on on Saturday. Um, since you've signed your deal with Metro, uh, not that long ago, but enough time ago, um, as kind of times progressed, how much trust have you got in Eddie Hearn that he will be able to deliver exactly what you need for you and your career? I just did the, the Metro podcast there with uh, David Diamante a couple of minutes ago, and we were speaking about something along those lines. And one, it's the Metro thing, and I've believed from from when I was very young watching watching boxing growing up watching matchroom shows it's always I've always chased the matchroom deal obviously there's other promoters out there now but I've always chased the matchroom deal I've always wanted to be aligned with matchroom um, and now I'm quite a spiritual guy and I believe that all of this has happened I've been calling for this deal for the last three four five years and it's all starting to align for me now but I'm probably best off that it didn't come when I when I originally wanted it. That I trusted in God's timing. It's uh, it's happening for me now, and the stars are aligning. Look, we're 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 about to come back and do a massive show in Dublin, um, May 20th. Obviously, I have to to get through Saturday night. But all of these these things that are starting to happen, we're talking about Tree Arena in May, and then Croke Park in in September, and then going back there and headlining my own shows, and going across to America and having all these mega fights and. 40 million Irish Americans over in America, New York, Boston, Chicago, and uh, bringing them all out and having some magic nights, and and they're all becoming a little bit closer to me every fight I have, and uh, to come back home in May is going to be magic. Um, to do Croke Park in September will be magic. So like I said, I believe that the stars are aligning for me. I believe I'm in the right space. If I wasn't with Matchroom, that wouldn't be a possibility. Obviously, with them having Katie and and Eddie being the one who I think like a lot of people are giving him, especially the Irish people, giving him a lot of stick for maybe not making Croke Park happen, but I think he's got to be respected and, and we've got to celebrate Eddie a little bit because uh, 
he's made this happen. We haven't had boxing back in Ireland for 15 years. Bernard Dundee's like, you know what I mean? I was I was a kid going to watch them, and, and we haven't had boxing back in Ireland from then, and, and Eddie's making that happen, obviously, along with Katie. Um, doing what she's doing she's, she's spearheaded it and she's given us all opportunities but Eddie's been a massive reason to all this all of this happening and, and to big time boxing coming back to Ireland so yeah I'm excited to be with Matchroom I'm excited to be aligned with Eddie I believe he's the best in the world um, he's working wonders for my career and for Katie's career and for Irish boxing so yeah Let me ask your opinion on this um, obviously over the last couple of weeks we saw kind of a, a little situation that didn't look like really the end product was I don't know what the end product is, but obviously when the, the talk of Croke Park and the reasons of why it's not going to Croke Park uh, in May were kind of put online, we saw a certain Mr Conor McGregor uh, come very vocally out and say that he would do what he could in terms of sponsorship or whatever in order to make that happen. We know since then that Eddie's been uh, over in Dublin, has sat down with Conor McGregor for a couple of hours or whatever he did and those discussions whatever they were uh, but yeah it's uh, it's a shame that it's not going to be in May but it will look like it will happen in um, September whether that be Katie Taylor should she come through Serrano against Chantel Cameron whatever that may be but yeah that was a, an interesting little dynamic going there uh, on there between Eddie and Conor McGregor definitely a spanner thrown in the works it was like this is going to happen but it's going to Croke Park is not a possibility. We're going three arena and then threw a couple of tweets as well. It's mad that the power of social media and, and Connor just threw up a tweet and obviously was interested in helping the show. I obviously don't know what was what the meetings were about, what was said, what the the whole deal with the, the sponsorship, the cost, all of this. But he he wanted to uh, to step in and to make it happen and to make it a possibility. And if he is uh, if he is willing to do that and he is one of the reasons that that boxing comes back to Ireland and comes back to Dublin then respect to him because he's he's helping and making it happen too you know I did ask Eddie if they were to ever get involved in any kind of cross promotion and we've seen Eddie and Jake Paul kind of that uh, duo shall we say but Connor and Eddie I think Eddie said like he'd almost have to kind of take a backward step because trying to kind of out talk someone like Connor McGregor isn't a tall order he's a what is a tall order shall I say he's a sharp sharp dude isn't he he uh, he likes being in front of the camera. He likes to say his piece. He likes to give his opinion. Um, but I believe it would be uh, he'd probably steal the show with Jake Paul. Jake Paul obviously promotes or manages Amanda Serrano. So if she if he was a part of of uh, a Katie Taylor Amanda Serrano fight week, um, we could definitely see a couple of chairs being thrown across uh, across across rooms at Jake Paul or something something crazy happening anyway. Well, we shall wait and see. But yeah, for you, your uh, immediate attention obviously draws to Nottingham. By the time this goes out, it will go out tonight, so it will be tomorrow, uh, against Wilfredo Flores. Uh, undefeated, only one draw on his record. Uh, the rest have been uh, pretty much perfect. So what do you know about him? Obviously, uh, Puerto Rico via America. Um, yeah, what do you know about him? Not very much. His box wreck and, and what I've seen of his last fight. Um, he's quite good. He's a southpaw. Um they reckon I think that he can punch a bit or he's going to be the stronger guy in there. I highly, highly doubt that. Um, but he's coming over here undefeated. Doesn't know what it feels like to lose. These Americans are uh, they're confident as well and he's coming over here confident and he's coming over here to put a stop to all of this this hype train or, or whatever you want to call it um, and all this... These dreams of Dublin are, are not up in smoke but it's... it's uh, yeah, he's definitely, he's coming over here to ruin my plans, you know, and, and I'm not prepared to let that happen. I think that he couldn't be in a worse position right now because people are talking about maybe getting distracted because of all the talk of May 20th and going back to Dublin, but you're dangling this carrot in front of me of a dream that I've had for my whole career and my whole life, that of fighting in front of my home people in my home city, and uh, you've got, you can, you can do that, but you've got to get through this guy first, you know, and so I'm best believe I'm going to do that I'm going to go home and I'm going to fight in front of my people and achieve my dream so um, I'm not prepared to, to let Wilfredo Flores get in and, and put a stop to that so I believe that it could be Godzilla in there tomorrow night and uh, he's not putting an end to my dream so unfortunately for him he's uh, he's picked the wrong guy at the wrong time and um, yeah I'm, I'm, I'm coming in there to take his head off tomorrow night. 
Okay, uh, well, Gary, listen, appreciate your time as always. Um, yeah, get the job done tomorrow night before you can think about uh, Free Arena or Croke Park or anything because uh, your job obviously uh, that leads to that starts tomorrow. Exactly, exactly. Um, there's lots of exciting talks to be had, um, potential opponents, potential titles, all of this stuff, but that happens after tomorrow night. I'm fully focused, laser focused on getting the job done, getting it done in style, putting on an entertaining performance, an explosive performance, and uh, yeah, man, I'm excited for tomorrow night first and foremost, and uh, then we'll talk about Dublin and, and plans for the rest of 2023 after that, but excited for tomorrow night. The Diva, Gary Cully, thank you very much for talking to IFL TV. And, uh, yeah, have you got anything else you'd like to add before we finish? I'd just like to say that these glasses are actually off white kooks, yeah, just in case I didn't get that in already. Um, I'll try them on. Yeah, if you want, man, but only in the camera. Uh, you know what? I actually, they could suit you a bit more, man. They're nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, they look well on you, yeah. They look like, I don't know. They're weird. Yeah? Very clear, though. Yeah, they are. No, they're nice. They're nice. I might get you a pair. I might get you a pair. I'm, I'm getting that that uh, that matchroom money now, yeah. So, well, tell me when your birthday is. Yeah, man, they're nice. <laughs> Gary, thank you very much. Best of luck uh, tomorrow night, and we will catch up with you straight after your fight uh, here in Nottingham. Top man. Appreciate that, Cougs. No luck needed. This this victory has been earned over a lot of months and years of hard work and dedication um, no look needed tomorrow night but yeah I appreciate that, appreciate the love appreciate the time and uh, looking forward to catching up after the win Top man, thank you very much Gary Colley I'm going to share something with you. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife and saying, completely different ballgame. I'll walk away from here and this has been like a therapy session.